Welcome to another Dodge Vlog. Today is Tuesday, November 4, 2014, and today I'll be talking about some players, my dilemma and slump yesterday, um, how I had two alcoholic drinks and it screwed over my my stream for yesterday, um, how I interact with social media and with uh, Twitch chat and YouTube and negative comments and how it makes me jaded, um, not allowed to host other streamers. Um, top solo queue champions, picks bands, practice for IEM, um, stream times, playing other games, and then, you know, the future of everything. So, starting with my dilemma and slump. Um, so, for the last two weeks, I've been getting back into the solo queue mentality, and relearning it has been the worst thing I've ever done in my entire life like it's been the worst experience because I went from a two-week vacation in Hawaii my home to playing hard like solo queue and dealing with like all these different emotions that I've dealt with before except after a vacation so I became more vulnerable to it because I wasn't used to it anymore and it was really stressful and just playing like trying hard and um it took a while, so I lost a lot of games at first, and then I started winning, so I got it back finally. Um, it's still going to take some time for me to be able to control myself on stream and solo queue, and yesterday was a good example of me kind of blowing up, so I want to get into that. So, starting with players in solo queue, I'd like to start out with Mikey the Bully. Um, when I looked through that replay... Honestly, like, that was just me being a dick. Like, you know, even though I was right that Rise should beat TF level 1, I should have I should have just not expected him to, like, do, like, the very optimal of, like, what you should be doing, like, trading with TF. But his reasoning was he had too many pots, which is, like, that's fine. That's reasonable. But what was unreasonable of me is that, since I saw an opportunity, I didn't adapt to the situation. Instead of just backing off and re like recognizing that Rise would hit level two, I went all in, and then you know I just died, and it fucked, you know, it fucked the whole game over. And then I blamed it on him, and it was also my fault. And ultimately, it's my own fault because I shouldn't be expecting him to play at that level. And when you come from a world stage to a vacation to solo queue, like the expectations go up and down. And what I should have done if I really came from the world stage, what I should have done was just go to his blue, to to Leeson's blue. And um, if you didn't see that game, like it, it's just basically me, like just trying to justify myself and blaming others for like mistakes on both sides. So. You know, if he's watching this, sorry for being a dick, dude. I'm just going through a dilemma and not going to make any excuses, actually. Just my bad. Um, as for other players, um, there's three more. Then there was Saint. I didn't know Saint Smurf was Cursed Piglet. So I thought he was just another troll being a fucking dick. But in reality, he was just trying to be a friend and trying to tell me to take a break. I thought he was trying to say it in a negative way, but then uh, he was actually, you know, him as saying was trying to tell me to take a break, and the thing about that is when I'm streaming for a certain amount of time, I really, there's really, if you want to keep your viewer snowballing, viewer snowballing, you can't really take a break, so um, this was during the time when I was having my slump and dilemma from like Worlds Vacation and then Solo Queue. But, yeah, it took me some time to get used to it again. And during that time, I got really pissed off at saying I didn't know it was him either. And so that was also my bad. Um, <clears throat> but I hope you guys understand that when I stream, I'm like, it's good for me. But I'm also trying to make the sacrifice of like, you know, entertain the viewers, like, it kind of goes both ways, even though it's obviously, like, a job or something, but we're not gonna go into that, and then, then there's Night Blue, in my chat, I've been noticing that, 
People have been extremely salty in chat towards Night Blue. Like, they're having this war, like it's TSM versus CLG or something, rivalry versus, of like, like, people just straight up hate him. Like, I, like, I, I don't know, dude. If you're coming to my chat, you shouldn't be talking about that. You shouldn't be putting down other players like that. Like, I shouldn't be putting down other players either. I, I don't think I've put him down like recently at all i don't think i've said anything about night blue in fact he's been doing really well in solo queue i don't i don't know what he says on his stream people are trying to like make shit up like saying that he says i suck or something like people are definitely making shit up like that you can't just like you know start drama like that like just let him do his own thing and you know, like let him play the game. Let him and if you don't like him then just don't watch him. Don't come to my stream to bitch about your problems. Like you can do that on your own time or to your own friends. Like like in reality he's still, you know, a high challenger solo queue jungler who can like, you know, carry an NA solo queue. It's not like it's not like of course he's going to get mad if he loses and he's trying hard. Of course, like, I do it too when I get mad and I get really salty. I start blaming other people, just like the examples I didn't bring that long ago. Like, that's just the nature of solo queue. You can do or say whatever you want, but, you know, people in League of Legends videos like YouTube comments or Twitch chat, no matter what you do, it's not going to change. It's impossible. It's the internet. You you be like 10 year old kid. No one's going to stop you. No one's going to come to your house and tell you, no, that's bad. People are going to do whatever the fuck they want. And um, just like leave them alone, man. Don't bring that shit to my Twitch chat. Otherwise, I have to like keep it in permanent sub mode. It's It's ridiculous. Like it's Twitch chat is literally full of like not everyone in Twitch chat, don't get me wrong, but it just, like, ruins the stream for others around you, and you might as well be banned. Like, I have the lowest ban rate for my stream, and in, and if if banning people is what it's going to take to make my Twitch chat cleaner, then I'm going to start doing it. Like, Ottawa has one of the highest banned Twitch chats, because, you know, he bans everyone, you know? I don't do that. And I'm going to start doing that if people can't really behave and, you know. Because cause sub chat, let's be honest, sub chat, the only reason I put it on sub chat is because it's not much better than normal Twitch chat at certain times. So a lot of times Twitch chat's really entertaining. You guys make really fun jokes. You guys say a lot of funny things. But there's times where it's just unbearable and that's understandable. But it's just... It, it's just gone too far this time it's for this for this long it's just i'm gonna start banning people like a lot of people because it's unfair to the viewers that you know they have to pay sub just to chat and when it's in sub chat people don't even start talking about the game but they paid their their sub you know i can't i can't be like oh you sub to me and you're talking about something else no i'm not gonna tell them that they can say whatever the fuck they want they paid for it you know and I'm going to thank them for paying for it, because it supports me. That's all I can do for that. So, moving on. Um, and then the last player for Impaler. Impaler is more of a special case for me, because... Because, like... There's two sides of the story. And I can kind of, like, understand it more now that I've thought about it. But for my first game with Impaler... Basically, I tried to cheese the enemy team with my mid laner, and then he already he just went on full tilt because he expected he expected us to be on the level of like your West solo queue or on scrim levels, you know, and he just did his red buff and then invaded anyways, even though it wasn't the right move to. And then he's like, I don't care. Like that kind of shit is like that kind of attitude is like unacceptable. I can't fucking deal with it. Like it's it's ridiculous, dude. You can't be coming into NA and, like, start bringing that shit. Like, this isn't Europe West where we have, like... Like, I can kind of understand where he's coming from because I've played with players like Cotley Drake, Darkwing Jax, and Europe West a long time ago. And I don't know how bad it is now, but that kind of shit's unacceptable. But I can still understand, like, the cause and effect. Because I tried the cheese, you know, it pissed them off. And, you know, that's... 
that's my bad. I took a risk, and then, like, I don't know. You can't just ruin the whole game for that one mistake. Because in NA solo queue, people are always going to make mistakes like that or try to cheese, like, all the time. Especially in NA solo queue, like, at where we're at. Like, there's always going to be comebacks. You can't just, like, FF the game when the kills are even or... You know, like it's not even that far like there's different situations and even times where i ff and i understand that but that kind of shit's unacceptable now here's the part for, t for the second game where it's more my fault than his so i was i was playing tf and he's playing lee and then i was just having my laning phase i had cloth armor because i didn't have armor runes and you know i i figured it that's fine but what happened that game was I didn't have my own mana regen, and I so I didn't make I didn't make blue puff as a higher priority that it should have been. And honestly, it isn't his fault for taking blue buff, but it kind of is. So it's like fifty fifty in my opinion. So first of all, you don't need blue buff on Lee Sin. <laughs> you can do a different camp. And second of all, you can always tell your mid laner you're going there instead of just starting to do it and expecting them. Because in solo queue, when I'm jungle, I ping my mid laner. If he doesn't come, then I just take it, and that's different. But he just straight up fucking took it, didn't say shit. Like, that's also my fault for not prioritizing it, but I don't know. Like, I read what Jezza said, like, maybe do another camp and then do blue. But honestly, like, after the first game, like, my my thoughts of him wasn't already like that high already like i was already like mad but he was doing he played really well that game he was 3-0 and then and then like for that game he said he said something like we shouldn't group up this soon or something like that and i, I don't know what he was referring to but he said that right after he forced to play middle, so I was like, I don't I don't know. There's two sides of the story, so I could you know, I don't fully understand it, so I'm not gonna say anything about that. But overall um for, what I learned from that is that I had two alcoholic beverages. It's my own fault. I was trying really, really hard and when my heart isn't isn't when I try my hardest and it's not good enough, then I get really mad and I look for conflict. So what I've learned, um, I had two drinks, and that was enough to make me, like, you know, um, I was at the peak of being intoxicated, like, I was good enough to play, but <clears throat> I not everything in my brain was going well, as in... Um, I was trying my hardest, but it wasn't really my best. Like, I was trying my hardest thinking it was 100%, but it was really, like, 70 or 80. And I was on a different role. So, so when I put the blame on him for the blue buff, honestly, that's, that's my own fault. That's not his fault. And so from now on, what I'm going to do and take responsibility for it is just not to drink during solo queue. I'm trying hard. Um, if I'm playing on my Smurf and, you know, I'm... I'm not trying as hard, I'm just trying to, like, you know, have fun and not feed, then I'll, that's when I'll maybe I'll drink, but I'll, I'm probably not going to drink while I'm trying hard in solo queue anymore, because it just makes me the opposite, and it makes, instead of avoiding conflict, like I usually would, I, I would go and rather, and like, you know, have conflict, which is what I had yesterday with the, one of the other players, so... I'm sorry for you guys that watched that yesterday, and um, I didn't really say much. It was more of like a, de a depressing day, and maybe there's some funny moments, but I'm not going to, I'm probably not going to drink anymore during solo queue, because it doesn't work for me. It works for Saint, but it doesn't work for me. <laughs> um, the next thing is, um, I've been wanting to like, you know, be more interactive with the fans, but that's also been exposing me to more negativity. And coming from a vacation onto solo queue, it's really, it's really, really hurting my mentality. Like, it's driving me insane. It's making me really, really, like, jaded towards, like, you know, the community of people that have been watching me for a while. Like, I don't know, I feel like I'm just relearning a lot of things, and 
Um, I'm fine with saying stuff like the sub stuff, like thanks for subbing because it's only natural. I should be saying that, honestly. But when people want me to play certain champions or... Like, I'm just going to do my own thing because it's really not worth it. It's just not worth it. And if people don't like that, then they don't have to watch. Um, stuff like the RuneScape thing the couple of days ago. Uh, that shit is just fucking ridiculous, dude. On no level that I should have to even be dealing with that. That shouldn't even be an argument where people are trying to convince me to play other games. Like, and when I gave it a chance, it was like, you know, you already know how it turned out. Like, I, that shit's fucking ridiculous, man. I ain't, I ain't putting up with that shit anymore. If people don't want to watch me, whatever. I'm going to play League. I'm going to play the games I don't want to play. And the reason why I made the straw poll in the first place was to see the opinions of people. And they wanted me to play a scary game. And I tried to play it. And I can't fucking do it. And people still want me to play it. So if you, you get mad at me for not playing it, and I said I'd play it, and I tried to play it, well, fuck you. Don't watch me, you know? Just... Let me do my own thing. I tried and I couldn't do it. You just have to accept that. So, there's other than that, like, connected to that, there's, like, dealing with Twitch chat, and then there's, like, you know, there's always, like, death threats and shit, negative comments, and that's, like, whatever. That's, like, the internet. But it's really, really starting me to make faded. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is I'm not allowed to host other streamers. I'm only allowed to host TSM for obvious reasons, and we're just going to leave it at that. Um, top solo queue champions, picks and bans right now. Um, for bans, I'd say Nar and Zillion is up there. And there's all, also other champions like um, Ramus, Rengar, Janna, Kali, Maokai, Shaco, like... There's target bans, but the bans doesn't matter too much other than the first two. As for picks, um, for top lane right now, I'd say my top pick for top, yeah, I'd suggest is Nar because he's really OP, and then Rise after. For mid lane, I'd suggest Wave Clear champions. There's not really a really OP pick for mid, but if you don't know how to play mid, I'd suggest Karthus. It's really good if you can't play mid, you just farm and press R. Um, if you can't play mid, that that's one champion that you should learn because you can always gain elo with that. Saints are really, really good at picking champions that you know for all roles that will carry just because of how how good their kit is towards the role, whether you played it or not. Um, for jungle, it's like whatever you want, dude. You just got to pick a ganking jungler or a scaling jungler such as Fiddle. Um, Fiddle's pretty annoying. And then for bot lane, it's just about, for support, I'd suggest Soraka or Morgana because you can just sit behind your AD and, you know, make picks. And for AD, I'd suggest anyone with, a, like, a jump because having a jump is going to increase your survivability by so much. And if you're not used to it, it can save you from a lot of things. So just anything with a jump. Um, that's it for top solo queue champions. Um, for practicing for IEM in the future... There's going to be I Am San Jose, and uh, all I got to say is we're not going to be that practiced for it. If anything, if anything, I don't know. Don't expect too much out of it. Um, for stream times right now, I'm going to be streaming around from 6 to 8 a.m. in the morning for like 10 games on. So like, let's say I start stream at 6.30, I'm probably going to... I'm supposed to start stream at 8, but um, 10 games from then, that's when I'm going to probably stop. Because after that, that's when I start to kind of like, you know, can't deal with it anymore. Unless I'm winning, then I'll probably keep playing until I lose. <clears throat> um, oh yeah, going back to playing other games, like, um, I want to play Advanced Warfare on stream in the next couple of days. It's a new game that came out. Um, I wanted to play Fallout on stream, but after playing it off stream, it was really, really bad. And the reason why is because it won't set, let me change the resolution. And it, and when I went through a loading screen, it literally took like 20 minutes to get through a loading screen. So I don't know if my, my Fallout's bugged, but I can't play that. Um, I want to be able to play other games in the future on my stream without people telling me to play like other games. Just... Please don't watch. And then, um, 
so for the conclusion, um, I'd like to, like, we need to stop these witch hunts. Like, these, you guys can't just go off and be telling people, like, if I'm getting death threats, pe other people are definitely getting, like, some kind of threats because I got pissed off at them. Honestly, you guys can't be going off telling other people to, like, you know, stop playing or uninstall and all that shit. Like, you know, as my fans, if you guys really watched up to this point, like, I'd appreciate if you guys would just leave other people alone. Um... I'm not exactly being the best role model for it, but I really appreciate if you guys could, like, you know, be the bigger man or bigger woman <laughs> and uh, just, you know, just keep it inside our little circle here. Um, so I'll be trying to do my best to improve my behavior. Yesterday was a really big wake-up call, and I'm sorry to a lot of people that I've hurt in solo queue. And I'll do my best to improve it because it's really, it's really unacceptable. And it, it's going to get to the point where as if I keep up this behavior, I'll probably get banned one day. And this is, this is me warning myself because I, I don't know, I have some, I could probably use some therapy from solo queue after all. <laughs> um, that's it for this vlog. If you managed to do, stay up with me this late, thank you. And um, thanks for watching. Hmm.